The wildest machine you've probably never heard of is also the machine that powers nearly all modern artificial intelligence, hidden inside ultra-secure clean rooms, costing more than entire skyscrapers. This machine makes the chips that run the digital world. Here's the impossible question engineers had to solve. How do you print billions of transistors onto a silicon chip when each transistor is smaller than a grain of dust? The answer is EUV lithography and it's one of the most extreme technologies humans have ever built. EUV stands for Extreme Ultraviolet Lithography. It uses light with a wavelength of just 13.5 nanometers. That's so small that normal glass lenses don't work even air absorbs it. So the entire process happens in a vacuum. But where does light that tiny come from? This is where things get insane. Inside an EUV machine, microscopic droplets of molten tin are fired through a vacuum chamber at incredible speed. A powerful laser strikes each droplet once, flattening it into a thin disk. A second laser hits it again, vaporizing it into an extremely hot plasma. That plasma emits extreme ultraviolet light. Yes, the foundation of every advanced chip begins with exploding droplets of molten tin. Now comes the next challenge. EUV light is so energetic that lenses would absorb it instantly. So instead of lenses, ASML engineers built the flattest mirrors humans have ever created. These mirrors are layered with molybdenum and silicon, polished so perfectly that any imperfection is measured in atoms. Light reflects through a complex system of these mirrors, bouncing precisely until it carries a transistor pattern toward a silicon wafer. The wafer is coated with a light-sensitive chemical called photoresist. When EUV light hits it, the pattern is transferred at a scale of just a few nanometers. The wafer is then developed, etched, cleaned, and repeated again and again, layer by layer. Dozens of times, each cycle adds more transistors, wiring, and logic. When the process finishes, the result is a chip containing billions of perfectly aligned transistors, each one smaller than a virus. These chips power artificial intelligence. They drive data centers, train neural networks, and enable machines to see, speak, and reason. Without a UV lithography, modern AI would not exist. No advanced GPUs. No massive models. No intelligent systems. This is not science fiction. This is industrial reality. Extreme light? Exploding 10 atomically perfect mirrors, one machine, and the engine behind the AI world we now live in. But the story of EUV lithography goes even deeper. Each EUV machine is not just complex, it is one of the most intricate devices ever assembled by human hands. A single system contains over 100,000 individual components shipped in hundreds of crates and assembled on site by specialized engineers over several months. The machine itself weighs more than 180 tons. It spans multiple rooms, and it operates at tolerances so precise that vibrations from footsteps outside the building must be isolated. Temperature variations of a fraction of a degree can ruin an entire production run. Dust particles invisible to the human eye can destroy billions of dollars worth of chips. That's why EUV machines live in clean rooms cleaner than surgical theaters environments where even a human breath is a threat. At the heart of this system is timing. Each molten tin droplet must be hit by lasers at exactly the right moment thousands of times per second. Missed by a fraction, and the UV light collapses. Hit too hard, and debris contaminates the mirrors. Those mirrors are masterpieces of engineering. Each one reflects over 99% of a UV light, a staggering achievement at this wavelength. 
Stacked together, even tiny losses matter. That's why ASMLS mirrors are considered the smoothest large objects ever manufactured, with surface errors measured in picometers smaller than atoms themselves. But the challenge doesn't end with light. Once the pattern is printed onto the wafer, it must align perfectly with every previous layer. Modern chips contain dozens of layers stacked with nanometer precision. Any misalignment destroys the chip. This is why EUV machines use advanced metrology systems, sensors, and AI algorithms constantly correcting positioning in real time. The machine doesn't just print chips. It thinks, adjusts, and self-corrects as it operates. And then there's the scale. A single EUV machine costs more than $150 million. Only a handful of companies on Earth can afford them. Only one company on Earth can build them. ASML. Every advanced semiconductor manufacturer, whether in the United States, Europe, or Asia, depends on ASMLS EUV technology. Without it, cutting edge chips simply cannot be made. This dependency reshaped global geopolitics. Access to UV machines is now considered a matter of national security. Governments negotiate over them. Export controls restrict them. Entire industrial strategies revolve around them. Because whoever controls a UV controls advanced computing. And whoever controls advanced computing controls artificial intelligence. This is why AI progress feels exponential. Each new generation of chips enables larger models. Larger models demand more computation. More computation demands better chips. It's a feedback loop powered by EUV lithography. The smartphone in your pocket. The data centers training massive AI systems. The self-driving algorithms. The medical imaging tools. The climate simulations. All of them trace their origins back to this single machine. Extreme ultraviolet lithography isn't just a manufacturing technique. It's the invisible backbone of the digital age. Just light at the edge of physics. Mirrors smoother than nature allows. And tin droplets exploding thousands of times per second. One machine. One process. And the foundation of the AI-powered world we now inhabit. Like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Keep exploring.